Hello everyone. In this video I will be uh, reading off uh, basically a list of my favorite games of all time. So uh hope you uh, are interested in hearing this. And let's get started. So my first uh, favorite game of all time, uh, you can probably uh, take three guesses and get this right, would be Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. You're, you're surprised, right? This was kind of obvious. I, I'm pretty sure Ocarina of Time is uh, everyone's favorite game. I almost feel like I didn't even need to mention it because, uh, I mean, people's nostalgia just glorify this game beyond recognition. So, uh, Next one would be Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I played most of the Zelda games, including Majora's Mask, but Ocarina and Wind Waker are really the two that I've enjoyed the most out of all of them. I've played partially through Twilight Princess, but it doesn't really hold the same zeal that Ocarina and Wind Waker did. I haven't actually played Skyward Sword yet, but I have it. I have it. And uh, I might play it soon. Maybe with a Let's Play, I don't know. Next game will be Star Fox 64 for the Nintendo 64. Unlike many people, I don't really hold this game as a classic because of the dual barrel roll quote, but because I played it probably as much, if not more, than uh, Ocarina. So this is one of my favorites. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. I have played all three, but Melee for some reason just feels like more of a classic to me. I don't. I'm not really sure why. Like I couldn't really tell you exactly how much I played the original Super Smash Bros. It feels like I didn't play that one much. I, I don't know. I probably did. I just don't remember. Uh, the next one will be Super Mario Sunshine. This was classic. Uh, this is another one of those games that will always stick with me. I distinctly remember after like uh, eight years since I played this game, that level where you uh, use uh, Flood, the, the, the hose, to kill that giant piranha plant. PD Piranha, I think it is. I just, I don't know why I remember that battle. I just remember you having to jump on its stomach or something like that. Awesome. Uh, every Pokemon game, pretty much up to Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. Um, Emerald remains my favorite of all those, Pokemon Emerald. And that includes, uh, I'm including Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I actually played those. And also, Pokemon... Um, uh, it's it's that weird game for the DS where you'd have to like draw circles around the Pokemon. I don't remember the name of it, but I enjoyed that one as well. But um, Emerald remains my my favorite. I've a I've actually uh, been playing that recently. Still, Blaziken is a beast, by the way. I played Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum and enjoyed them all, but Emerald is just uh, special for me. I don't know. I'm hoping to get Black or White soon. Blake actually told me he might give me one of those. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront Two. I say two because uh, I played both of them. I have both of them for the PS2, and I'd say I prefer two just mostly because they have those uh, Jedi versus Sith Lord battles. By the way, I'm just saying Emperor Palpatine's lightning is completely OP. Moving on, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. This might be kind of weird. This was just uh, basically a Yu-Gi-Oh! game. It had a, it had kind of a storyline, classic Yu-Gi-Oh! type storyline. If you ever watch the TV shows. Um, I played this a lot. A lot. It's for the Game Boy Advance. I beat it at least five times. I love that I could incorporate my compulsive Yu-Gi-Oh card hoarding into the game, as there was a code on each real card that lets you import that card into your game, which I thought that was, that was pretty nifty. And I got a lot of beastly cards, because I used to collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards a whole lot. Kirby's Adventures for the, uh, I, b I believe it's for the Super Nintendo, maybe it's the NES. I'm pretty sure this is the original Kirby game, don't hate me if I'm wrong. There might have been one earlier, I, I don't know. Along with games like Dr. Mario, th this was what I played on the on our uh, Super Nintendo until I got the uh, Nintendo 64 in like 2001, sometime around there. Call of Duty 3, more specifically the Wii version that didn't have any multiplayer. This was my first shooter game, if I'm not counting some of the Metroid Prog Prime games I used to play. Try try not to face facepalm with the fact that it's Call of Duty. Um, I actually learned a lot historically from this game, about World War II, the invasion of Normandy. It actually has some good historical facts in there, I'm not going to lie. Back before I had an Xbox 360 and I only had a Wii to play on, I've actually never had a, a re like an original Xbox. I've only had an Xbox 360. And I pretty much played this in Super Smash Bros. Brawl on my Wii and for like half a year or so until I got a Call of Duty World at War, which was my first online multiplayer game ever. 
and that that's probably one of my favorites as well. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Now this is one that's less of a classic for everybody and more of a classic for me. I don't know if you've ever played jo Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, but it was made uh, probably around 7 to 10 years back or something like that. And instead of a controller, this was for the GameCube, by the way, I don't think it was for any other system. Instead of a controller, you had, like, this little electronic set of bongos that was your controller, which I thought was really cool. And basically in this game, uh, you play as Donkey Kong and you use your magical drums to kill the evil gorillas, or something like that. If you can find a complete game and drum set, I would suggest you try it out. The next one is some game based around McDonald's. I can't remember if this was on the NES or the Super Nintendo, but it was some game where you played as two little boys and tried to save all the McDonald's characters from tree houses or something like that. It's been a long time since I played it, so I'm probably dead wrong. I used to play this whenever we visited my grandma back when I was like five years old and younger, and this is definitely a good old days game in my eyes. Halo 3. This was my first game on my first Xbox 360 after I bought it off Craigslist. And in my eyes remains a testament to uh, what a multiplayer game should be. A delicate balance of aiming skill, evasion tactics, and ultra lols that makes it probably my favorite multiplayer game of all time, despite the fact that I hardly play it anymore. Luigi's Mansion, that legendary game that everyone's probably heard of for the GameCube. You'll have to forgive me as I almost forgot this game completely as I was making this list. This game is absolutely legendary for me, the way I see it. This is probably one of the most original games of all time, in terms of gameplay mechanics and general storyline, that is. Despite the fact that it's based on Mario and Luigi vs. Bowser and King Boo, essentially. Also, Professor E. Gad is up there on my list of my favorite video game characters ever, especially since he invented both the Poltergust and Flood from Super Mario Sunshine. He's just a monster. I love that little noise he makes when he talks to you. Hey, <laughs> Rome Total War. For there was... Those poor souls who don't know, this is a pretty old game for the PC that lets you take control of a faction around the time period of Rome's emergence. You can play as Greece, Macedon, Rome, etc. And basically kill everyone or ally yourselves with them. I guess you could call this an RTS, as if you've ever played Civilization, it's very similar to that. Only with a more interactive and strategic battle system, I'd say. Mario Kart Double Dash. This game probably sucked about two or three years of my life away from me. I love this game, and it's definitely a contender for my favorite game of all time. I spent so much time playing this game, both with my brother and on my own, that I'd probably be able, I'd probably be able to show you every detail of the game if I were to play it again. Simpsons Hit and Run for the GameCube. Oh man, do I remember this game well. I spent a ridiculous amount of time beating and rebeating this game, occasionally just going on destructive rampages in an indestructible rocket car until the police finally ran me into a wall, and being sure to get every collectible and destroy every wasp drone in existence. If you don't know what I mean by that, you never will. <laughs> and I've had a great f and I've had a great time playing it. Now, many of you may be shocked to know that I've never played many popular series such as Final Fantasy, Soul Calibur, Resident Evil, Street Fighter, Grand Theft Auto, etc. Many of you probably just died. Mostly because I was pretty sheltered against bloody and violent games until I got the Xbox 360. And even then, my dad wouldn't let me keep uh, Assassin's Creed 1 that came with the Xbox along with Halo 3. Now, what would be my favorite game ever? I'd say my absolute favorite game of all time is Fire Emblem Path of Radiance for the GameCube. And yes, I refrain from mentioning it until now on purpose. This game takes classic strategy games to a new level, though I must admit this is the only Fire Emblem game I've ever played. It had a good yet simple storyline. Basically, the main protagonist is Ike, who is a part of a mercenary group run by his father that is fighting against the Imperial rulers. Ike's father dies, leaving him in charge, despite the fact that the monstrously overpowered horseman Titania is far stronger and more qualified. And along his journey to kill his father's killer, and all associated with him, which reminds me naggingly of Inigo Montoya, he gains many allies, including the Princess of Norway or something like that. Specifics aside, this is a strategy game that is insanely addictive, and if you've never played it, you've never lived. Of course, some of you may be thinking the same thing about me never having played Resident Evil 17, The Parasol Diaries, or whatever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, leave your opinions on what you think the best game ever is, and games you think I should play. And don't even say Resident Evil 4, I've heard that from Blake enough, and I haven't even recorded this yet. <laughs> well, I have now. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed.